This is Kawamba Health Centre in central Malawi. It's a rough drive from the nearest district hospital along dirt roads, and during the rainy season, it's often cut off completely, making it very difficult to get essential medical supplies through to the health centre. Now the Malawi German Drone and Data Project is using the latest drone technology to ensure that essential medical supplies can get through to patients in one of the poorest areas of one of the poorest countries in the world. In the past, if we order drugs, it was taking a bit huge time maybe two, three weeks before our emergency orders could reach us. But now, when we got down, GIZ brought in the drones, we are experience, experiencing a shorter turnaround time. When we order, you may receive your orders within a week. Since November 2020, GIZ and Wingcopter have been working together to strengthen medical supply chains to remote areas. These W178 bi-directional drones have one of the longest ranges of any drones currently in operation and they can fly up to 120 kilometers carrying a six kilo load. 24-year-old Deborah Duam Tambalaika is doing her dream job working as a drone pilot for Wingcopter. As a pilot, I'm doing a lot of things, especially like uh, doing maintenance of the of the aircraft. So I interact with electronic devices, even some of the parts of the drone. So I really understand what is a drone brain. So I have uh, the skill and knowledge I obtained from Drone and Data Academy, which is helping, especially when it comes to piloting. I also do like risk assessments, which is uh, taking much of my time to be on computer to do flight routes. One of the main challenges the project has faced is familiarising local communities that have never seen a drone before. As a result, the project also includes community sensitisation meetings so that people can see how they work. Some people might not have the clear, uh, of, like, clear lens on what this drone does. So it might, some people th think maybe it's a witchcraft and then it's flying on their, on their house and then it might uh, maybe try to land, but it's, it doesn't. So it's like we are trying to clear the myth that it might be witchcraft or it might be trying someone to spy on their house. The Drone and Data Aid project started small and currently delivers to eight health facilities. But the long-term plan is to have a drone network that covers the entire central region with a central hub in the capital, Lilongwe. One of the major advantages of the Wingcopter drone is that it has a VTOL system that allows it to take off and land vertically, meaning that it does not need any extra infrastructure to land in a remote area. It just needs a small 4x4 four four square and it can land and deliver medicine meaning we don't need any extra, any extra capital instead of just the starting capital to purchase the drone. Fast, smooth supply chains are even more vital when it comes to COVID-19 vaccines that need to be stored at very low temperatures. Drones could quickly transport vaccines to hard-to-reach areas and the project team in Malawi is now preparing plans for drone distribution of COVID vaccines. We want to ensure that we develop local capacity to manage uh, drone-related technology, such as pilots, uh, technicians, and information management specialists. Some of these pilots now employed by Wingcopter were trained in Malawi at Africa's first Drone and Data Academy. The Academy, which opened in January 2020, is a partnership between UNICEF, international and local educational institutes with support from German Development Cooperation. Its aim is to build local expertise for Malawi's expanding drone industry and to teach young Africans from across the continent 21st century skills in drone flight and data analysis. 
and it's already inspiring young Malawians to reach for the sky. <laughs>